Hello everyone. Um, today I will use the scenes that uh shown in my last video to show you guys uh, to share my knowledge of uh, how to delete some files, some folders, or renaming them, because uh, we all know many of us uh, think uh, that is system in Unreal Engine is a mess. You always will lose some of the link when you are moving the folders etc or renaming them so in this uh, scene for example I have two folders in the world containing uh, some of the furnitures and pops there and also in the content folder I have an interior folder and I also have uh, grouped them into two separate folders and in each folders I have uh, further distinguished the assets into three different folders of geometry the materials and the texture so when sometimes you want to pack your asset maybe you will put on you want to put on the market to sell it or to share with people or to work with others you always want to have a better folder file structure so in this case i hope and i want to merge the two folders together and restructure a little bit So first of all, um, I will try to move the access folders onto the top level, which is uh, under the interior folder. In this case, I will open a content browser You can just click and drop Because uh, currently there's uh, no folders here It is quite safe to move them all at once All right, so the three folders were now moved into the uh, top level of the directory, which is the interior folder. However, in the original location of the A folder, you can still see there are two folders left. However, they are empty. It's because some of the memory or buffer cache are still stored inside the engine. For whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> However, please don't delete them. Before you do that, please try to use the function fix up redirectors in the folder before you do anything. So you can see they are now try to redirect the links to fix it into the correct position of the folders in the new locations it may take a few seconds all right so you can also check it in the file windows uh, explorer have a look Where is it? You see, there are still some files there. 
but it's okay. Let's delete them for the time. Or it may be safer to do the fix up with directors in the top folder. Let's see is this. Let's see if we can delete it now yeah we can delete it now so do the same thing for the, the other folder and from my experience it is more safe to remove relocate the folders one by one and also remember to save it often the texture you will want to move it in the first place and then followed by the materials and the geometries so when we are moving to the top level it will replace the original file and again this time they are also creating some redirectors And then the material. Actually, it's also better to fix and feed time when you move a folders like here the last part will be the drum trees okay they're done now we are going to do the last fix and we can delete the original folder okay so we are done and you may want to check are the links are still working or not okay so let's check it You select the object and you can check the link you can see that the static mesh link from the actor is already linked to the new locations under the interior and geometries and also the materials it looks fine We better save or fix up more often sometime okay so now we are going to do the renaming part of the project and in these few days I failed a few times and it took me a while to do some uh, research on the internet to figure out that uh, we can actually use two methods to batch renaming our assets in a very quite a efficient way so the first one is this one it's called 
editor utility blueprint for renaming multiple files. You can just subscribe to the art station and you can download it for free. I will give a link below in the description. Once you have downloaded it and unzip it, you will have a folder like this and double click we are, we are going to install um, or migrate the blueprint inside our project so we double click it you will see a folder here called editor utility blueprints you right click it and select migrate you click ok and then choose our folder and inside the content and it's done we go back to our project you will see a folder blueprints double click it you will see a script here but we can leave it there and do our renaming using that blueprint Once we have installed it, you can see when you select a asset, an asset, you will have a scripted action here. Scripted action, we name multiple files, v1. You click it. You have a replace string to string, case sensitive. It is self explanatory. For example, in this file, AI54, we wanted to remove it. We can simply type AI54 underscore. And to string, we can replace by, we leave it empty. That means we delete it. We click OK. You see, it's gone. We try another one. Again, script the action. We name multiple files. We want A I five four. This time, we we'll replace with a uh, A A A. Okay, it's done. Let's say, for example. We want to rename a multiple files. We can do that. AI five. Oh sorry. AI five four underscore o o one, and we would like to replace it by uh, T underscore. Since it is a texture asset, oh, we don't need the underscore here. We press OK. Just like renaming, it will open and save, and also redirect to the other files. So, after the renaming, we would also like to fix up the redirectors if any and the other tools which is actually inside our plugins is called asset assistant we enabled it and we hit restart so you see it is enabled the plugin so this time we will use the access assistant to rename the files we can select here in the modes on the mode asset assistant 
for example if we want to rename these files you select it and then you get the content here by pressing this button the files will be shown here and under modify you can see a pattern here which means we can follow the pattern as, as shown to rename our file as we want it is a little bit different from the previous blueprints so for example we want to add one more prefix for these files we will type for example I'm going to uh, add a m underscore to the original name which is the bracket name and here we press the add button and we will show on the pattern here and then in the modify we press rename and it's done you see there's a m underscore m for these files okay so we are good to go and before we are leaving remember to relink it fix all the directors in the uppermost folder and last but not least you can check it here is there any asset that is not used in at any level and in this case we have none and you can also check the redirectors files we also have none here and if you want to select an other batch of files you simply click the bin to empty the collection here and select again Let's say we want to control A select all all the textures here and then add to the list again and it will do the same thing you can see a, a thousand access were added in the list okay so we are good to go and we are having a clean folder structure with a good naming system thank you for watching